Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. I'm Smith97 and today we are adding soil mod to a map. Yep, that's right, soil mod. So I got requested to help someone add one to the map and I thought well it only takes five minutes really, five ten minutes. May as well do a quick video on it to show some people and then hopefully some of you can learn something else as well. It's nice to expand on your skills so why not so I'll be adding it to Robbie's starter map so I've got that and soil management dot zip unzipped so you'll need notepad plus plus that is um, yeah a necessity really you can't really do it with notepad notepad's just a pain in the ass so to start off you can get Notepad++ here at their website notepad++.org um, go to the download page, get the newest version and download the installer there and if you don't have soil mod you can get soil mod on Decker MMIV's GitHub um, just go down here, download soil management does it. So that's that. So we may as well get started. So to start off, go soil mod requirements for your map I3D and copy this FMC soil management folder. two of the same thing open okay um, open up your map and it needs to be in the subfolder they call it so it's in this map folder it's basically the folder where your map i3d is so paste that in there and then you right click on your map and edit with notepad plus plus so I've got the map i3d open and the instructions.txt open as well. Okay. So to start off we need to copy our, our file. Copy this into the files area. This is like references to that folder we just put in. We don't have to do anything to that. We just copy it from there, right at the top under the files tag, and paste it in there. That's all we do there. And then come back to our instructions and we go to part two. Part two is a little bit more complicated. So we will copy this fruit growth foliage shader go to our map, we'll click on these binoculars and we need to search for it and we need to find the file ID this is because our next lines need to reference back to this shader so we'll copy the file ID and here custom shader ID, we'll paste it in there, 46 then up here if we go back to instructions we need to find one row foliage shader so we'll copy that and paste it in and it is, I thought it was just down there, 48 so now we're going to add 48 in here just watch you don't do what I just did and stuff something up, remove the got to keep those blimmin um, the speech marks Ooh. so only in between the speech marks you're working on you make sure everything else is intact start tags and end tags and everything are there so, so once we finish that we'll copy from the end tag down here up the top here control C and now we need to find materials 
Here we are. Start tag, and we'll paste it in there. Everything's all matched up, all the IDs are all matched up for us here, the material IDs. So we don't have to worry about that. And we've done our custom shaders, so that part's done. Now we just scroll down to our part 3, and we have to find some more numbers. So the first thing is wheat or wheat winrow. So we're down in our multi layers, or our sub layers, and find wheat winrow all the way along. Find our block shape ID. So that's seven. So here, where we want winrow block shape ID, we're going to insert seven again. Make sure you just leave seven in between the uh, speech marks. It'll be different for your map, however, the number or numbers. So you need to follow how I'm finding them. The next one is potato hall M or sugar beet hall M. So go to the block shape ID. Okay people, sorry about that. Okay, so we are looking for our potato hall M block shape ID. That is 35. So in here we will put in 35 everywhere it's required. Like so. Then We will copy that and find a nice place to paste it in in our um, in our layers section and with the multi layers. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll put it in the just below forest grass. So the end tags there. Enter and Control V put it in there, and then you'll see it's got an end tag before the next thing. So that's perfect how we want it. Looking at all that. Yes, I think. Ah, I think that's quite good. That's all done. Now another thing you have to be aware of is if your map you're adding it into has the uh, Gilly Mist mod, the Manure Slurry and Lime mod. If it has that in it, it will conflict, so you will have to remove it. But it's basically just how we added soil mod in reverse for that particular mod. So it'll be manure underscore something, manure underscore winrow, I think it's called, a uh, sub layer, and manure underscore liquid underscore winrow or something, sub layer. <laughs> so just remove all them. And yeah, it's as easy as that. So that's all done as far as I know. So we can save that and close that. And it's in there. So we're good to go. So we'll drag here and we will zip it back up like so. Okay, so we're in game and we see that soil mod has loaded correctly. You can just see a bit of it up the top on the left, but also um Also, you'll see the soil mods come up on the right. So that's good, it's all added in correctly. That's as easy as that. Hope that you guys can follow this. I just, yeah, I felt like I got a request for someone to add me, add it in, and I thought, well, I may as well help you guys out a bit and um, create a tutorial, because it is quite easy. A lot of people don't really realise and they just look at it and just, ah, ah, you know, too hard. But no, it's really easy. Once you get the hang of it especially. Oh yeah then guys, thank you. I'll see you in the next one.